and you pro and he's been in a few things um so he's been in boy meets girl which is a new sort of thing and he's in z nation as well as twilight so you probably know who he is because he's in quite a few things so let's go ahead and start um so a lot of times you see actors that are always playing the same character but in different mm -hmm. situations but watching you in some of your work i was really amazed how different some of your characters were and how good you were at staying in your character and we watched some of stuff from your reel and it's just amazing how you're staying in your character really well well thank you very much that's 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 very kind of you to say and and yeah i mean that's that's what i try to do as an actor i mean there are you know there are different actors who um you know you, you if you go to their movie, like you know exactly what you're gonna get, and and I actually there, there's a part of that that I really enjoy watching. But uh, for me, you know, I've always been more drawn um, to the actors that really kind of embody their characters, and, and and that's what I try to that's what I try to do in in my acting. So when people watch something I'm in, the experience I want them to have is to feel like, oh, I know a guy like that, or yeah, I can. I, I could see myself being that person. You know what I mean? Like, I want people to feel like it's a real person. Yeah, so. it's not like I'm watching this actor play this character. It's more like I'm watching this character. I, exactly, which is, and I think that gets a little more difficult as people get more and more famous. Like, I'm not really that famous. Like, some people, you know, maybe have seen some stuff I'm in, mm -hmm. but I think it, it's a little easier for me to kind of disappear mm -hmm. in those roles. That's why I'm so impressed with, you know, um, like actors like Tom Hanks or Meryl Streep, like even though they're so famous and everyone knows who they are, they still have the ability to kind of disappear into those roles. So that's that's sort of what I aspire to do as well. Um, when I mentioned to some YouTube fans that we might talk, they mentioned your work in Boy Meets Girl. Even though I'm just a kid, I get a lot of really <laughs> nasty comments about my short hair. Uh -huh. And some people even refuse to believe when I tell them that I'm a girl. Uh -huh. I say I'm a girl, I just wear, I just have short hair, it's comfortable for me. I like having the short hair so it's not all on my face all the time. Yeah. And they still refuse to believe that I'm a girl just because I have this really short hair. Yeah. And it's just really weird how that happens. It seems like people are kind of afraid of what's different to them. I, I, I agree with you. And I think, you know, what, one of my favorite parts of, of the movie, Boy Meets Girl, basically there's, uh, there, there, I mean, there's a bunch of different characters, but there's these two characters. There's a, there's a dynamic of, a, of an older sister who's, who's transgender and then her younger brother. And at one point, the younger brother is, you know, he's he's a little confused, and he's saying, "Hey, is it, you know, is it wrong that like my, I, I have my 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 boy soldiers rescue my my girl soldiers and not the other way around?" He's like having this whole sort of conversation with her, and she goes, "You are perfect in every way, sweet boy. You're supposed to do what makes you happy, um, and that's 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 exactly what you're supposed to do in life." So yeah, I mean, uh, I think your short hair looks awesome, and. If that's what makes you happy and that's what you want to do, then uh, really it's, it's it's nobody's business but yours. And and frankly, honestly, you know, I've always sort of said other people's other people's opinions of me. It's really not my business. I mean, it's their opinion. Um, and I do appreciate when people like like stuff I'm in and, and, and that kind of thing. But um, but yeah, that's kind of what that movie's about. It's 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 about you know people uh, uh, the 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 journey of, of growing up and and trying to be true to yourself in that in that journey so yeah that I, uh, sounds really cool yeah 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 um, are there any characters from a book that you've read or something that you really want to play someday a dream role <clears throat> um that's a really good question I, I think uh you know I've always wanted to play uh, uh John Lennon from the Beatles eventually I, I just think that'd be really cool to uh to kind of get into the psyche of, of, of somebody like that, someone who's who's just who's such a genius and affected so many people, and uh, his work is so it's so it's been it's been so meaningful to me and so many other people over the years. Mm -hmm. um, I'd be really interested in kind of like get, getting into his skin, and, you know, yeah. seeing what that was like. That would be really cool. Yeah. We saw the video on the Thirst Project, which was really awesome. How did you get involved in that? <laughs> really do your research. Yes, That's yes, awesome. Your research. Um, so Thirst Project is uh, is an organization. They they build uh, clean water wells in, in areas of the world where people don't have access to, to clean water. So people are basically drinking contaminated water every day, um, and it is a it's it's a youth oriented organization. Meaning basically we go to high schools and colleges, and and speak to, to kids and, and let them know this is kind of what's happening in our world and this is what we can do about it to change it. And in just six years, uh, we've managed to get. 
clean water to, I think it's up to almost a half a million people in 11 different countries uh, who otherwise wouldn't have had it. So it's, it's an amazing thing to be a part of. How I got involved personally is, um, you know, I was doing a play with a guy, the Thirst Project was about a year old at this point, and his roommate happened to be the founder and CEO of, of the organization, who's actually a guy who's younger than me. I mean, I think he's, he just turned 26 and he's built this like empire for himself. It's really incredible. Um, and I met with him and talked to him and he, he explained about what they do and how they do it. And, and uh, I was just blown away and I've, I've been involved ever since. That seems really awesome. Um, I wish I could be like a part of one of these things, but I haven't really found the time to get into one of these things. Yeah. But I remember when I was like really like six, I would carry around this little like purse that mm -hmm. had a few pennies in it. Yeah. We'd go to the zoo, and I would put all of my pennies in this like the rainforest donation thing. Mm -hmm. I would just do that <laughs> for like half my time at the zoo. It was pretty fun though. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of zombie shows and books right now. But the fast-moving zombies the nation has is so much scarier than like the <laughs> slow-moving zombies that right. are in some things. Um, I think it's one of the things that sets the nation apart from other zombie things and what makes it different. And since you get a new character, is it scary to be in this the nation world with these fast zombies running around? Um, well, yeah, you know, um, I, I think that's exactly what what makes that show different. I, basically, the writers every day figure out a way. They, they they sit down and they say, okay, what's what's the scariest like most intense, terrifying thing we can do with a zombie, right? So make them fast. Make them really fast and make them strong and make them kind of smart. So basically the way we've sort of determined our zombie rules, because everyone's kind of got to make their own rules, is that um, the the strength and speed of the zombie uh, kind of depends on how recently they've been turned. Mm -hmm. So if someone's just been turned, first of all, we make them zombies instantly. So it's not like a three day waiting process where they eventually turn into a zombie and they just attack right away. Mm -hmm. Um, after a while, eventually the body will start to kind of decompose and then, you know, they, they, they might slow down a bit. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of the idea behind it is we just, we just want to make zombies as, as exciting and terrifying as, as possible. Um, but for me, I, I think another thing that, that makes the show different is that nobody on the show is afraid of zombies at this point, you know, because we're like three, four years into, into this zombie apocalypse, so everyone is really good at killing zombies. Um, if anything, the, the bigger threat comes more from, I mean, either a large group of zombies or um, other people, you know, because uh, people are probably more dangerous than zombies at this point, right? Um, so yeah, I, it's, it doesn't really, as, as Mac, the character I play, I, I, I don't think Mac is afraid of zombies. I just think that, uh, I think the thing that scares Mac is, is, is uncertainty and a situation that he can't control, right, because he just wants to control everything and that's how he's been able to survive this long. Uh, thanks for taking a couple minutes to sit down. Oh, my pleasure. It was a lot of fun. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Alright. It's time to press the subscribe button. A subscribe button. A subscribe button. A subscribe button. Bye 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 bye.